maybe we can use a metaphor to try to explain scaling in a different way. Uh, let's say we have an athletics carnival where we are trying to rank our athletes from top to bottom. In this carnival, we have many events on offer, from the 100 meter sprint to shot put, long jump, even the marathon. But not everyone has the time to compete in all these events. So everyone would choose their own set of events to compete in. Let's say we want to find out how good an athlete you are based on your best five events. How do we summarize your performance over these events when they are all measured very differently? And also com the competition might be much tougher in one event than the other. Now scaling puts your performance from your events on the same scale so that it will tell us a measure of how well you have performed performed compared with the others if everyone had taken part in the same event with you. Now, if we scale your performances and then sum up to get an aggregate and we do the same for everyone, then we can rank everyone based on the aggregate. Calculating the ATAR is something like that, except that we are substituting sporting achievement with academic achievement.